in the daily in the daily shoes let's get it views from the two I was just like, nah, I gotta get something else, man. Watch one month from now and start seeing M2s everywhere. Oh, man. So with the three days that I've had this car, still my favorite part, hands down, is the handling. Uh, we're actually going back to the canyon just because, like, man, I almost couldn't get enough of that. Because the car just feels like you can throw it in a turn at, like, 120, and it'll just stick like glue, bro. Like, that's how this car feels. It's just crazy. Believe it or not, this is the newest car that I've bought. I mean, my GTR was 2018, but that had 6,000 miles when I bought it. This one had five. <laughs> so my whole entire life, uh, this is my newest car. Right now I'm gonna link up with my boy Anthro. He has that purple GTR that was in the last video. And he also has that thing right there. Okay. Little 235 boys. I believe it is um, downpipe intake tuned by Gentani. I think it makes like four, 405 or something like that. So we can get some little runs in and see what's up. In a month? <laughs> I don't know, I might have to get that hood. Yeah, that's, like, that's how my cue was. Damn, the hood looks crazy. It feels like that hood's like supposed to be on this car, you know? Yeah. Like it needs that. Yeah, I get pulled over all my time, I <laughs> This shit looking too plain, man. That shit like a plain bagel right there. I need all the cream. That shit clean though. You already know, I'm gonna do my calibers yellow. Most likely. Whew. The Beamer boys are out. Just downpipe in performance exhaust and intake. I'm taking a tune. And he's on a he's on an E30 blend. It's not full. Oh yeah, I can hear that's full. Hey, look at Evo. So we're gonna get some runs in later, but he should beat me 100%. 235i M2. It's the same motor. The M2 just has like M3 pistons or something like that. So they bump up maybe a little bit more boost and it makes like 45 more crank horsepower. Handling man, the handling, sheesh. Up the trail, champ. Oh, thank you. You're a real one. best handling car I've ever had like I can't even lie it literally feels like it's all-wheel drive barely got slipped
<laughs> That's all I can say about this car, bro. The handling is freaking fantastic. That's a savage, so I'm gonna do like 5,000. <laughs> that's just fucking loud. This shit looks like a, a BMW commercial and shit. Purchase this low mileage BMW M2. Never driven hard, always babied. You definitely got more power, bro. It has a sunroof. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh shit, bro. Damn. I need that spool, bro. <laughs>
right away though, I can definitely feel the difference between the M and the 235i. This one feels a lot like, I want to say looser. Like it feels more like, you know, like ah. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I feel like it's only right to hit a donut one time. It's only right, right? Turn that shit all the way off. spark plug or something you can hear it breaking up i let off for a second i thought he was gonna let off but he kept going <laughs> but fuck i mean not bad honestly running 100 right now but it's still not bad for bone stock you know what I'm saying trying to figure out if it's best to race with traction completely off or in sport plus because i know that the modes are dominant i think when you fully take traction off it's just comfort with traction off so like because a couple times when i shift the traction would kick in and the car would slow down and it would fall out of boost a little bit so i don't know i'm gonna play around with it see what does better so i got a few things coming for the m so stay tuned to the channel i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video i'm out